All right, so I finally got my hands. Uh, I finally got my hands. I'm so glad I got my hands back, bro. I finally got my hands. I finally got my hands on the new animated series Carnage figure. This is a figure I've been wanting to pick up for a while, mainly for those cool axe accessories because I didn't get that on the previous Carnage figure. And I'm probably going to want to do some head swaps later on in the video with the previous Carnage figure as well. This is technically a re-release from an older Carnage figure. I kind of wish it came with the Cletus Cassidy head sculpts as well because the previous one did. Uh, I mean, he got the mold, however, I mean, might as well be, might as well just, I don't know, throw it in there, I guess, I mean. Then there is a shot of the back of the box. I really enjoy the classic look of the 90s colors and the whole cartoon aesthetic. I've said this in previous videos before that it's kind of difficult to open up these classic carded figures just because they look so dope on the card and... What I usually do to get around uh, the whole, like, not wanting to ruin the actual... <laughs> Was it worth it? My favorite part about that take is you don't even know what's going on. What I meant to do was... Oh, hell yeah. You just gotta open it like a caveman. And then you're not gonna care that the box is ruined because it looks so pretty. And men's on card collectors ain't keeping that shit. Bro, the cops are coming now. The men's on card collectors are coming for me. You hear that? I am placing blocks and shit cause I'm in fucking Minecraft. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Thank you, Azra. I'm so sick of twisty ties bullshit. Is that looking big? And here's Carnage outside of the box. I how am I actually better like try and jump back into being like? So here's the figure after like the content I was just showing you. So here's Carnage outside of the box, and I actually enjoyed this head sculpt a lot more than I was originally expecting. Um, again, I want to do the head swap and I want to see, I can probably swap some of these uh, symbiote stuff out as well. But before I get into that, I'll show off the accessories and then some of the articulation and then we can jump into uh, size comparisons. This was the axe that was on the figure and the detail on that looks really good. You can see like all like the rivets, uh, if it would focus, there's like all like the different rivets there and like the symbiote looks really good as well. Yeah, I'm very glad that it came with the axe accessories. I dead ass, I probably wouldn't pick this figure up if it didn't have the axe. Is that why I bought the figure? Just for the axe accessories? Yes. Is that a good investment? No. But now I can do axe stuff without having to draw it. That also looks really dope. Hand. I do really enjoy that symbiote. Uh, tendril stuff in the back they look really cool having like the spikes like that it's definitely more modern comic carnage look over animated spider-man look but I don't really care I wanted to pick up the figure either way uh, so let's quickly jump into articulation it's pretty much what you expect with modern um, Hasbro legend figures if you collect the line at all the butterfly joint kind of weak though but I guess it's cool that it's there but almost kind of useless if it barely even goes anywhere um, then there's the upper bicep double jointed elbow and then there's the wrist and then the hinge you got the crunch there crunch back as well there is the waist joint. Jump of the Hong meme. Kick forward. Uh, kind of kicks back. There is the upper thigh. Double jointed knee. He can kick very far back there. Um, boot rotation. 
That's that's so wild, cause like this Carnage figure's got the boo rotation. But <laughs> that astonishing X-Men figure of Wolverine, it doesn't. And it makes posing the figure so much more difficult. Shout out to Ms. Prime meme. Whoa, homeboy stiff. Oh my goodness. You hear that clicking? What what? Why is it so, like, okay. That's kind of weird, because, like, the figure low-key feels like it's got, like, that gummy vibe. Um, so having such, like, tight ankle joints. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Leave this shit to Shardimus Prime. Because your boy, sleep-deprived, playing with toys, doesn't know what he's saying. Size comparison. I hope this is funny and not just a fucking useless video. Y yikes, throwing in the old Carnage figure. It looks really kind of bad next to this new one. The sculpted detail work looks so much better than just the painted on the Bucky Cat mold. I want to swap the heads though. Let's swap the heads. This is what I've been wanting to do. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I was kind of like a lot more hype, and something may sitting right with that one. This I doubt this will look good. Oh, small head. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's. Very underwhelming on the Bucky Cat mold. I wish that looked cooler. I don't know why it doesn't sit right with me. I guess you got a lot of range of motion there. And you can probably switch these around as well if you'd like. Again, I don't know. Lame. I'm kind of liking the new hard scarf. I'm kind of liking this newer head sculpt more than I originally expected. I never thought I'd want to like replace the Carnage figure that is headless in front of you right now. I genuinely like I I need to see, oh, there goes the head. So no head, haha. I need to see what this one is like on the aftermarket. Just uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. There he is next to a Kip Ash of the animated series, uh, animated series Spider-Man with the um, Superior Spider-Man head sculpt. Here he is next to Captain America because he was closest to me. There is a Spider-Man Classics uh, Spider-Sense Spider-Man. Oh my goodness, this dude is tall. There he is next to the movie Carnage. There he is next to the movie Venom. I like that size. There is the Spider-Man Classics Venom. There is the Absorbing Man Way Venom, which... Uh, if I get that newer animated series one, it might be replaced in that one. And then, I don't know, why not? There is the classic. Spider-Man classics, Spidey. Uh, I think... I mean, I guess for the most part, the figure is pretty much what I expected. I'm enjoying that head sculpt a lot more than I originally thought, like I was saying. The axe accessories are really cool, and I really enjoy the spikes on the symbiote tendrils there on the back uh, definitely um, if you got that older carnage figure maybe this is a good one to replace it with I'm not sure if that's something I'd want to be doing I'm gonna go lay in bed and fall asleep um, if you enjoyed watching this video I would highly recommend seeing a therapist if you found this funny. Wow. Again, I shouldn't leave that in. Thank you for watching. You're going to see this guy in other stop motions. See ya. And I'll probably do some head swaps and stuff later on this video. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. 
and then on the back of the box here you can see yeah there's the interchangeable I should leave this shit to share Miss Prime. This cannot be the fucking take I use. This is so stupid. <laughs>